Who's BYD? Build your dreams is what it stands for. I saw their presentation when I was at the Tokyo Auto Show or the Japan Mobility Show, whatever you want to call it, this past October. It's really excited for them. They are potentially going to be a big threat here in North America before we know it. Grab your snacks and drinks and buckle in. I would typically save this, and I will talk about it again after it soaks in, but I typically save this sort of EV talk for my Sunday morning show where I talk about all the big EV talkings, good, bad, and different, all the big announcements for the week. I talk about it on Sunday mornings. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell icon because we'll come back Sunday morning for a bigger show. Uh, but this is such big news that I cannot wait till Sunday morning to talk about this. At least I believe it's enormous news. BYD used to sell mainly plug-in hybrid vehicles and then they started doubling down on their battery electric. Now, they use blade style batteries. They, they use lithium iron phosphate, which are a safer battery in theory, and they aren't quite as like high range or high energy density as like the NMC batteries that Tesla and most manufacturers use here in the United States. But LFP batteries are a lot cheaper to produce and manufacture. And BYD has been riding on the coattails of that battery technology. And it looks like they are potentially going to build an EV plant in Mexico. This changes everything potentially for the United States. Not only could BYD put a dent into Tesla and their success in the United States, they can put a dent into tradi traditional automakers, especially internal combustion ones, because their vehicles are so cheap, at least the ones built in China, I would assume the ones built in Mexico would be really cheap as well. But because the vehicles are so cheap, they can under undercut the automakers here in the United States and cause all sorts of chaos. That's what makes it fun for me to talk about. Would it actually happen? I don't know, but let's get into it. Top Chinese electric vehicle maker BYD is considering setting up a plant in Mexico. This would be to establish an export hub to the United States. Why don't they just import them from China? Well, Chinese vehicles have a minimum of a 25% import tax in the United States. You can't just bring those vehicles in. The workaround to bring in Chinese vehicles is if we are also, or let's say Volvo, for example, or Ford, for example, as well. They build vehicles here in the United States, and if they ship those vehicles, export them to China from the United States, you can get away with bringing Chinese vehicles into the United States. It's some sort of loophole that eliminates the import tax. The problem is BYD doesn't have any United States production. So they can't, you know, use that Chinese uh, import tax loophole situation. That's why like the Volvo uh, EX30, that's why that vehicle is able to be imported from China and avoid the import tax because Volvo exports some of their vehicles from the United States to China. With that being said, in order for these vehicles to avoid not only the Chinese import tax, but also qualify for the EV tax credit, they need to be built here in the United States or North America more broadly. And you have cheap labor in Mexico. That's why Toyota, Honda, General Motors, Nissan, um, the German automakers, everyone has plants down in Mexico to make their vehicles cheaper to produce and you sell them at a higher sticker price here in the United States. Every automaker, every business wants to reduce their overhead and you do that with cheaper labor. That's one of the best ways to do it. Here we go, Mexico potentially getting a plant from BYD and this could be a huge thorn in the side for Tesla, but more importantly, I wouldn't say more importantly, but equally as importantly as the traditional OEMs that sell and build vehicles here in, in North America. In the fourth quarter of 2023, BYD beat out Tesla for the first time ever in terms of global EV sales volume. BYD's sales of passengers' vehicles are concentrated in China, but recently, that's why the Japan Mobility Show, they also sell BYD electric vehicles in Japan now. So they're looking for ways you know, to get into different markets. Uh, they sell quite a few in uh, Europe as well and in Australia. Only 8% of its vehicle sales are 
outside of China. That is quite surprising. That little 8%, but also contributed to China being the number one car exporter in the world in 2023, passing Japan. Besides the potential Mexico plant, BYD's opening facilities in Thailand this year and announced plans in December to build a production base in Hungary within three years. Well, that is, that's really smart because what's going on in Europe right now, the European Union, EU is investigating China and the Chinese automakers to see how much unfair help those Chinese automakers are getting from the Chinese government. And as a result, EU is more likely to put big tariffs on imported Chinese vehicles. But if they're built in Hungary, sidesteps that employs Europeans and uh, avoids the uber cheap Chinese um, labor and materials in theory. In Latin America, BYD plans to spend 3 billion reals or $605 million to build a plant in Brazil. And from my understanding, that's where Ford pulled out of Brazil. So they're taking Ford's old production facilities, putting the BY stamp on it, renovating it, and producing their brand of EVs down there in Brazil. BYD has launched a feasibility study for the Mexican plant. The company is negotiating with national and local government officials over a location and other terms for the plant. We know Tesla is looking at the Nuevo Leon area right across the border, right, to build a plant to build the cheap Model 2 is the theory of what it's going to be called. Um, a very low-priced entry-level EV. Now, BYD, they get into this situation. Uh, competition's good, right? But let me know. Before I we, are we end this, though, let me know. If BYD is building cheap EVs out of Mexico, sending them to the United States, would you be interested? That is, I, I, I personally don't know. I'd have to drive the cars. If they feel good and they provide a good car for the money, then maybe I could recommend them. But let's keep reading. Now, BYD's representative did not say where they might build, but the northern state of Nuevo Leon, like I just mentioned, where Tesla is looking, and the Bajio region in central Mexico appear to be the leading candidates. The Yucatan Peninsula and other places in southern Mexico are also likely options. And something I didn't talk about earlier, yes, labor's cheap, in Mexico, but it's increasingly cheaper thanks to the rise in wages from the UAW and the other automakers who had to up their game to compete, right? So wages in USA are getting higher and higher. Mexico seemingly is staying relatively the same. And so even more incentive for BYD to move into Mexico for that cheap labor because building a plant here in the United States would not make their vehicles very cheap. And another upstart Asian automaker only doing BEVs, VinFast, is supposed to open up a manufacturing facility in North Carolina. Now, it's slated for completion in 2025, but a lot of money that they're going to have to put into that plant for a completely unproven vehicle and unproven market for them as well here in the United States. Look how fast Chinese autos are growing in Mexico. They gained a 60% increase from 2022 to 2023. Now, the Mexican market is pretty small compared to the United States market, maybe like a tenth, right? Maybe less, just 1.36 mil. So the market up 24% in Mexico last year. Chinese automobiles, however, up 60%, selling more than 120,000 vehicles. At this point, Chinese autos make up roughly 10%, maybe something like 8% of the market share in Mexico. SEIC Motor Affiliate MG, along with Cherry Automobile and JAC Group, are three Chinese brands that already have their foothold there in Mexico. Now, this is something I didn't know. I had no idea Kia was planning to build EVs in Mexico. They have their plant, I think it's in Georgia. Um, and of course, we're going to be building EVs there, but maybe lower cost EVs could be shipped out to Mexico and then brought into the United States. Um, BMW and Stellantis said they will manufacture EVs in Mexico as well. Check this out. Chinese investments in Mexico jumped 50% to $587 million in 2022. Solar Ever or Solar Reaver, it's got to be Solar Ever, right? A Chinese EV maker unveiled plans to spend... 
395 million US dollars in the Mexican state of Durango. This huge announcement from BYD is right on the coattails of this announcement. CATL, BYD, others are united in China to work together on solid state batteries. It's not because these companies necessarily want to, it's because the Chinese government realizes how important important solid state battery technology is. The problem is they hardly have any patents on solid state battery technology. You could say, you know, you could, everyone makes a joke that China just steals all the intellectual property. So once solid state batteries are working somewhere, they'll just copy and paste it and make it there. That, that could happen. If China's able to beat everyone else to the punch and have solid state batteries, their EV market that is already dominating will even be that much better. The problem is, is that Japan has been investing in solid state batteries. And if we look at Toyota, Toyota holds more than 1300 patents for solid state batteries. Toyota says they have figured out solid state batteries at this point. They just need to find a way to mass produce it. They are going to bring it out in 2027 and 2028. And that's just gonna be the beginning, right? I, I wouldn't expect to see solid state batteries mainstream until the end of the 2030s. That's just my gut prediction. Anyways, I just felt like sharing this at the end of our, our article today. BYD is going to come into America at some point in time and getting their foot in the door in Mexico with cheaper labor costs and building up their supply chain for the North American market in Mexico makes a lot of sense to me. So they can undercut Tesla in theory, they can undercut all the other automakers here in the United States with really cheap battery electric vehicle. The thing is, even if they're cheap, let's say BYD has a $25,000 Corolla like sedan. Would people buy that over a Corolla? I don't think so at least not in the current state of the market where there's very little infrastructure um, and the convenience of owning a gas car outweighs an electric car for most people out there. I'll see you guys down below on that. Would you be buying a BYD if it, brought, if it came to America from Mexico? I can't wait to see how this transpires. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.